they found a man with a gunshot wound. When EMS arrived, he was pronounced dead at the scene. A short time later, police responded to another shooting just a few blocks away. Officers found a woman with gunshot wounds who was also pronounced dead at the scene. The double shooting is devastating for McCrary's family, including the young sons left behind, ages eight and five years old. That's our baby sister. And they'll stop at nothing to get justice for her. Losing her knowing that she was innocent is what hurts the most. Twenty-four-year-old Alexis McCrary was a loving, kind-hearted, caring, and successful young woman. She was considered a go-getter by many and worked in the healthcare field. Most importantly, she was a mother of three who lit up every room with her smile. She had a close-knit relationship with her family and enjoyed being the youngest of her siblings. Just before 3 p.m. on September 10th, Louisville Metro Police responded to Club Cedar on the 400 block of South 26th Street at Cedar Street for reports of a shooting. Officers found a man dead with a gunshot wound. Soon after the initial shooting report, officers were called to the 2500 block of Cedar Street, roughly 500 feet away from the initial shooting, for reports of another shooting. Upon arrival, they would find the body of a woman lying in an alley with multiple gunshot wounds. Two people dead in the Russell neighborhood just yeah. before 3 p.m. on Saturday. Councilwoman Donna Purvis, who's represented the district three years, rushed to the scene at 26th and Cedar Streets. Don't know what this stemmed from, but, you know, just want the public to know that uh, the club was not open and operating at the time. When police responded to the area, they found a man who'd been shot. Oh, yeah. Just 500 feet away, they located a second victim, a woman shot multiple times. Both of them died at the scene. Now, police say it's not the first time they've received this type of call for the area near Club Cedar, but Purvis says LMPD detectives told her the double shooting had nothing to do with the club or its patrons. The business was not uh, open for business. It was not operating, so there were no customers in the business at the time. Uh, I think there were people in there uh, actually working, doing some renovations. The Jefferson County coroner identified the man as 26-year-old Edward Lamont Smith of Louisville, and the woman was identified as 24-year-old Alexis McCrary, also of Louisville. Both victims were sadly pronounced dead at the scene. Initially, police were unsure if the two shootings were related, but soon learned that the two victims were in a relationship. Christopher 2X, executive director of Christopher 2X Game Changers, said there have been seven homicides in the first 10 days of September. There have been 118 homicides this year, making this the third highest homicide total in Louisville history. In 2021, there were 188 total homicides. In 2020, there were 173 total homicides. Angry, shocked, and confused, Alexis's family is demanding justice for her death and say they now find themselves on a long road of grief. It's, it's going to be a long journey. A long journey that Ashara Pendleton and her brother Jalen Rhodes now find themselves on just days after the death of their 24-year-old baby sister, Alexis McCrary. I just wish, uh, I don't know, I just wish it was different, but it happened. Police were called to Cedar Street at around 3 p.m. Saturday afternoon. They found McCrary's body in an alley near 26th Street. She had multiple gunshot wounds. I was just like, like it's not real. Like it, like it, like in my mind, it's like this. This isn't reality. When police received the call that McCrary had been shot in this alleyway, they were already here at Club Cedar on 26th Street, tending to a man who'd been shot. According to family, that man, 26-year-old Edward Lamont Smith, was McCrary's boyfriend. He died at the scene. The double shooting is devastating for McCrary's family, including the young sons left behind, ages eight and five years old. We're gonna take them, love them, embrace them the way she would want to. It's not gonna be the same. But it's the best McCrary siblings say they can do to fill the void of the person they say lit up every room with a smile. That's our baby sister. And they'll stop at nothing to get justice for her. Losing her knowing that she was innocent is what hurts the most. Initially, the police had no leads in the case. Video surveillance was obtained from multiple nearby locations, showing and identifying a vehicle at the crime scene. Just two days after the double homicide, LMPD's homicide detectives announced the arrest of 32-year-old Maurice Gibson. 
He is being charged for murder in the deaths of both Alexis and her boyfriend. On Tuesday, officers located Gibson inside of the suspect vehicle. Gibson later admitted to giving another unnamed suspect a ride from the scene following the murders. Additional evidence was found showing Gibson in the vehicle before and after the shootings occurred. Gibson was arrested and booked in Metro Corrections on Tuesday night. He appeared in court on Wednesday, where a judge placed him on a 500000 full cash bond. His next court appearance is scheduled for September 22nd. Should we say anything when we let it go? Anybody want to say anything? Miss your face. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.